Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to our YouTube channel and welcome to this video. This is John from Samax Code and in this video guys, we're going to talk about Java Effects properties. And of course, we're going to uh, discuss how we can use this Java Effects properties when it comes to creating our Java Effects applications. So basically guys, Java Effects properties um, store the inner state of a control and it will allow us to listen to the state change of that particular control and that basically means that we will be able to perform an action when the value of that particular property changes okay and guys there are two types of properties in um, JavaFX we have the read or write and then we also have the read only properties okay and then the usage of that properties um, we need to import first the uh, Java effects that means that property package so that we could you know work with the different properties classes so these are the classes that are available for us uh, under the read and write uh, type of property so we have the Java effects uh, beans that property that simple string uh, property and then of course we do have the JavaFX beans that property that simple double property we also have simple integer property and simple boolean property and later on guys we will try to uh, demonstrate how we can use this um, number property or double property in our uh, own JavaFX program so we also have classes for read only uh, property so we have like the JavaFX beans that property uh, that read only boolean wrapper we also have read only integer wrapper and of course we do have like the read only double wrapper and of course the read only string wrapper so we can use this by using this particular example uh, for example in read or write property so we could like uh, define the string property value and then equals new simple string property and then we define the string so it should have like a double quote right here but you know you get the point uh, it should have the string right here and then of course we can set the value of this particular property by using the set method and then JavaFX tutorial as the string parameter and then of course we can display the updated property okay so system that out the print line and then we have the string change uh, string property and then the updated value of our uh, simple string property now we do have also for the read only so read only property we have this particular line of codes read only string wrapper and then value equals new read only string wrapper and then of course the java effects string okay so it should have the again the double quote here and then the read only string property and then the var uh, value uh, i mean the variable read only value and then equals the value of that particular uh, read only property so we don't or we did not set the value of this because as you can see this is read only so once we set the property or string property for that so there's no way we can change or set the value of that uh, property now we can uh, apply this in our JavaFX application so we can um, implement so for us to better understand the JavaFX properties and how powerful it is when it comes to our Java program or JavaFX program. Now I have created a simple project demo property and I have three files the main fxml, the main that Java and main controller. And uh, again if you are following my tutorial you know by now how to create your own JavaFX um, project. So I'm going to add a new file here for our simple property. So I'm going to add a Java class and then I'm I'm just going to name it you know my number. So this will uh, this will serve as the bin for our uh, property. 
Okay, so my number, and then we can uh, declare a variable here that we can try. Uh, we can maybe later on set uh, from our main controller. So we can uh, declare it here, here as private, and then in double, and then number. And of course, you can set the or we can generate the setters and getters for this. So we can insert code and then getter and setter for our number um, variable. Okay, so we have here the get number and um, set number property or set number. And then of course we can change this instead of using double here we can make this the uh, double property okay double property and then we can import this by using the java effects beans that property and then of course the double property and um, instead of using this particular line we can check first if the number is not equal to null so guys this will make sense later on if you try to run our program because we will have like the practical approach or practical implementation of this particular property so bear with me for now uh, we will just write this code and um, we will just uh, from this part right here we can check if the number is not equal to null and we don't need the curly brace we can return and then number and then we can get the value okay so semicolon at the end otherwise if it is not null of course we can return the number so for example zero okay and then of course in this particular method set number uh, we cannot directly set the value of this particular number by using the double type because as you can see it will try to warn us that incompatible types double cannot be converted to double property so this number is a double property right here and we are setting this as a double number which is not allowed so that's why we need to add another method right here public final and double property and then we can say here number and then property okay and then we can also check if the number is equal to null then we can um, set the number equal to new simple double property okay and then we can initialize it to zero and import this okay and of course uh, we can also return the number uh, variable right here and in this set number method we can call the number property method right here so we can uh, instead of using this that number we can use this that number property and then we can um, like set the value and then the number variable okay so I think that's it for this particular Java bean for our number property and then we can move on to the uh, main controller that Java so we could um, go ahead and try to implement our uh, my number property okay so main controller that Java and in here we just need to ah, make sure guys that you are uh, setting the method as final right here so public uh, final and then here also it requires that the methods inside our number property is final and let's move on to the main controller that java and we can say here final and then my number and then the variable name is my num plus new my number okay 
And then inside our initialize method, we could uh, set the number of my num into zero. Okay. And then uh, we can try to listen or like observe the changes in this particular number property. Okay. So we can do that. So by using the um, my number variable, my num, and then number property. So basically, we're just getting the property or the number property that we have uh, defined here in our bin my number, and then of course we can uh, add listener to this, add and then listener to our um, number property. So new change listener and then of course the object and open close parenthesis and curly braces let's try this okay so we're going to import the change listener okay and then of course we have to implement the abstract method okay which is the change okay and now from this particular method we can set the value of our um, number into a label for example so we can like add a label here set the value of my number property my number property in property into the label Okay, so before we go any further in this particular class, we're, uh, let's just add a button and of course a label in our main.fxml file. So go ahead and open up our main.fxml file and it will be empty for now, but we can just add a label here. Okay, so we can set the ID of this into... Uh, so for example status okay and then we can add also the button for our application okay so uh, the ID of this BTN press for example and then of course we can change the text press me so save our main.fxml file and then we can go back to our netbeans, make a controller and then we have the uh, label and the button right here. So we could like add the or I mean set the value of our my number into the label. So we can just use the ID for that which is the status and then set text. And then we can use new double and then of course the my number um, my num my num that get number and of course we can convert this into um, string okay because you know status uh, set text requires string okay so now we can also add the method for our button so for example we want to um, every time we click on the button the number will be incremented and then the change will be displayed in our label so we can do that by defining a new method uh, after this Okay, so you can say here public void and then btn click and then we can say here action event and open close curly braces and then we can uh, set the value of my number so my num and then set number and of course the my num variable and then get number and then add one to that 
Okay. So we're getting an error here that uh, identifier expected. So action event, yeah, we need to add the variable for this particular class, action event, and then event. Okay. So we can add this BTN cl click into our button by going back to our scene builder and then under code, we can paste here the method BTN click. Okay, so save that and let's go ahead and clean and build our demo property project. And uh, after this, we'll, we will try to run this application. So right click and run. Okay, so we have here the label and then the button press me. So every time we click this, it should... Um, increment the number or my number property and it will display the value into our label so as you can see guys we did not directly set the value of the um, my number into our uh, label so we use every time we click the button we use the my number variable and then uh, we set the number and then we increment the my number pro property by one and as you can see in this particular button we did not set the value directly to the uh, label but as you can see we have here the uh, listener that will try to uh, you know listen for changes for the my number property and if there are changes then it will set the text into our um, label so i think that's all there is to it guys for this tutorial and if you have questions regarding this concept of properties then you can ask me in the comment section below and of course guys in the next video we're going to uh, explore deeper with these properties and how we can use it in actual controls in our javafx application so Thank you for watching guys and see you in the next video.